Welcome everyone, I welcome you once again in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who is the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. And this is Brother Scott bringing you yet another daily Bible reading. And today we will be reading Numbers chapters 33 and 34 on the broadcast today. So if you have your authorized Bible, King James Bible, please turn along with me. And if you don't, you're probably not going to get the entirety of this uh uh, reading, so I uh, hope you'll get yourself a authorized King James Word of God. Uh, and so we'll be starting in Numbers chapter 33 and verse 1. And it says here, verse 1, These are the journeys of the children of Israel, which went forth out of the land of Egypt, with their armies under the hand of Moses and Aaron. And Moses wrote their goings out according to their journeys by the commandment of the Lord. And these are their journeys according to their going out or goings out. And they departed from Ramses in the first month, on the fifteenth day of the first month. On the morrow, after the Passover, the children of Israel went out with an high hand in the sight of all the Egyptians. For the Egyptians buried all their firstborn, which the Lord had smitten among them, upon their gods. Also the Lord executed judgments. And the children of Israel removed from Ramses and pitched in Succoth. And they departed from Succoth and pitched in Eth Etham, and, uh, which is in the edge of the wilderness. Um, and they removed from Etham and turned again unto uh, Pihahirath, Pi which is before um, Baal-Zephon, Baal -Zephon. and they pitched before Migdal, and they departed from Pihahirath, Pi and passed through the midst of the sea into the wilderness, and went three days' journey in the wilderness of Etham, and pitched in Mara, and they removed from Mara and came to Elam, and in Elam there uh, were twelve fountains of water, and threescore and ten palm trees, and they pitched there, and they removed from Elam and encamped by the Red Sea, and they removed from the Red Sea and encamped in the wilderness of Sin. <laughs> what a name for a wilderness, Sin. And they took their journey out of the wilderness of Sin, and encamped in Dafka. And they departed from Dafka, and encamped in Alush. And they removed from Alush, and encamped at uh, Rif, Rif, uh, where was no water for the people to drink. And they departed from Rephidim, and pitched in the wilderness of Sinai. And they removed from the desert at Kir, uh, Kibroth Hatava, yeah, Hatava, and they departed from Kibroth Hatava and encamped at uh, Hazaroth, and they departed from Hazaroth and pitched in Rithma, and they departed from Rithma and pitched in Rimmon Paris. And they departed from Rimmon Paris and pitched in Libna. And they departed from Libna and pitched in it at Riz Rizza. And they journeyed from Rizza and pitched in Kiha Kihila Latha. Kihila Latha. Yeah. And they went from Kihila Latha and pitched in Mount Sh uh, Shafir. And they removed from Mount Shafir and encamped in Harada. And they removed from Harada and pitched in Mechaloth. And they removed from Mechaloth and encamped at Tah Tahath. And they departed from Tahath and pitched at Tara. And they removed from Tara and pitched in Mith Mith Mithka. Yeah, Mithka. Wow, that's some... Put some names, names here, and they went from Mith, Mithka and pitched in Hashmona, and they departed from Hashmona and encamped at uh, Moserath, and they departed from Moserath and pitched in 
Ben Jerkan, and they were moved from Ben Jerkan and pitched and camped at Horha Gigad. Horha Gigad, and they went from Horha Gigad and pitched in Jatbatha, and they are moved from Jatbatha and encamped in at Ebrana. Yeah. Uh, and they departed from Ebrana and encamped at Ez Ez on on Gabir, and they depart, moved from Ez Gabir and pitched in the wilderness of Zin, which is Kadesh, and they were moved from Kadesh and pitched in Mount Hor in the edge of the land of Edom, and Aaron the priest went up into the Mount. Hor at the commandment of the Lord, and died there in the fourteenth year after the children of Israel were come out of the land of Egypt in the first day of the fifth month. And Aaron was an hundred and twenty and three years old when he died in Mount Hor. And King Arad the Canaanite, which dwelt in the south in in the south in the land of Canaan, heard of the coming of the children of Israel. And they departed from Mount Hor and pitched in Zalmuna, and Zalmuna, and they departed from Zalmuna and pitched in Punan, and they departed from Punan and pitched in Oboth, and they departed from Oboth and pitched in Irji Abarim in the border of Moab, and they departed from uh, Irim and pitched in. D Dibagad, and they removed from Dibagad, and encamped in Almondiblathium, Abladiblathium, and they removed from Almondiblathium, and pitched in the mountains of Abarim before Nebo, hmm. and they departed from the mountains of Abarim, and pitched in the plains of Moab by the Jordan near Jericho. And they pitched by Jordan from Beth Jethamoth even unto El Shittim in the plains of Moab. And the Lord spake unto Moses in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye are passed over Jordan into the land of Canaan, then ye shall drive out all the inhabitants. Of the land from before you. He didn't say some. He said all. All means all. And destroy all their pictures. And destroy all their molten images. And quick pluck down all their high places. And we can uh, take this to heart. In a spiritual sense. When Jesus uh, and God says to uh, destroy everything um, in the flesh. We're to destroy it all. Amen. Not just some of it. And ye shall uh, dispossess the inhabitants of the land, and dwell therein. For I have given you the land to possess it. And ye shall divide the land by lot for an inheritance among your families. And to the more ye shall give the more inheritance, and to the fewer ye shall give the less inheritance. Every man's inheritance shall be in the place where his lot uh, falleth. According to the tribes of your fathers, ye shall inherit it. Uh, but if ye will not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then it shall come to pass that those which yet, uh, which ye let remain of them shall be pricks in your eyes and thorns in your sides, <laughs> and shall vex you in the land wherein ye dwell. Moreover, it shall come to pass that I shall do unto you as I thought to do unto them. Hmm. So, let's uh, take heed to that in a spiritual sense, and uh, make sure we destroy all those things of the flesh, and uh, the things that we keep will tend to be a vex to us, and a uh, pricks in our eyes, and thorns in our sides in a spiritual way. <laughs> so let's make sure we destroy the flesh, destroy the things of the flesh. Amen. Chapter 34, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, 
Command the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye come into the land of Canaan, this is the land that shall fall unto you for an inheritance, even the land of Canaan, with the coast thereof. Then your, uh, your south quarter shall be from the wilderness of Zin, along by the coast of Edom, and your south border shall be the outmost coast of the salt sea eastward, and your border shall turn from the south to the ascent of Akrabim, and pass on to Zin, and the going forth thereof shall be from the south of Kadesh Barna, and shall go on to uh, Haz Hazad, and pass on to Asmon, and the border shall fetch a compass from Asmon unto the river of Egypt, and the goings out of it shall be at the sea. And uh, as for the western border, ye shall even have the great sea for a border. This shall be your west border, and this shall be your north border. From the great sea ye shall point out for the for you Mount Hor. From Mount Hor ye shall point out your border unto the entrance of Hamath, and the goings forth of the border shall be to Zidad, and the border shall go on to Zif Zifron, and the goings out of it shall be at Hazar Renan. Uh, this shall be uh, be your north border, and ye shall point out your east border from Hazar Renan to Shif Shifem, Shifem, and the coast shall go down from Shifem to Rip Ripla on the east side of uh, Ayin, and the border shall uh, descend and shall reach unto the side of the Sea of Ch Chinnereth uh, eastward, and the border shall go down to Jordan, and the goings out of it shall be at the Salt Sea. This shall be your land, with the coast thereof round about. And Moses commanded the this is the land which ye shall inherit, inherit by Hawat, which the Lord commanded to give unto uh, the nine tribes, and to the half-tribe, for the tribe of the children of Reuben, according to the house of their fathers, and the tribe of the children of Gad, according to the house of their fathers, have received their inheritance, and half the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance, and the half-tribe have received their inheritance on this side Jordan, near Jericho, eastward, toward the sunrising. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, These are the names of the men which shall divide the land unto you, Eleazar the priest, and Joshua the son of Nun. And ye shall take one prince of every tribe, to divide the land by inheritance. And the names of the men are these, of the tribe of Judah, Caleb the son of Dephuna, and of the tribe of the children of Simeon, uh, Shemuel, the son of um, Minahud, of the tribe of Benjamin, uh, Elidad, the son of Chish Chishlon, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Dan, Bukai, the son of Jogli, the prince of the children of Joseph, for the tribe of the children of Manasseh, uh, Hany Haniel, the son of Ephod, uh, and the princes, or the prince of the ch tribe of the children of Ephraim, uh, Kemuel, the son of uh, Sh uh, Shiftan, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Zebulon, uh, El Elzaphan, the son of Parnach, the, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Ishakar, uh, Paltiel, the son of Azan. And the prince of the tribe of the children of Asher, uh, Hi Hihud, the son of Shelomai, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Naphtali, uh, Pet Petael, the son of uh, Minahud. These are they whom the Lord commanded to divide the inheritance unto the children of Israel in the land of Canaan. 
Hey, man. Wow. Those were some rough names for those cities and uh, the people. Hey, man. But we got uh, through some of those names. Hey, man. So let's see. Any more names tomorrow? It looks like tomorrow we're going to be wrapping up numbers. And then we'll be going into Deut Deuteronomy the next day. So, hey, man. All right. Well, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce each of those names. So I tried my best. So praise the Lord. And uh, if I got some of them wrong, I apologize. But uh, trying to pronounce them as best as I can. Amen. All right. Well, that will wrap up for today's Bible reading from Numbers chapters 33 and 34. And like I said, tomorrow we'll be continuing in Numbers. And we'll be finishing up at uh, Numbers with chapters 35 and 36. So hope you'll come back tomorrow for that. Uh, most likely tomorrow evening after church. So, till then, uh, may the Lord richly bless you and you'll have a great and wonderful rest of your evening. And before I go, let me tell you about Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh to the Father but by Him. And friend, we are all sinners. We all come short of God's glory. And if you're lost today and you're lost and undone, then Jesus Christ will save you call upon him and believe what he did on the cross his death burial and resurrection and as you so desire to get your own way but it's not by any types of work not by going to church not by uh, being baptized with water none of that stuff it's only through jesus christ and jesus christ alone it's his finished work he said it is finished on the cross and if you'll just humble yourself, you're trusting in and turn to God and have faith in Jesus Christ. He will re, uh, give you eternal di uh, life and redeem your soul. Amen. All right. Well, that will about wrap it up. So hope you'll uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. And again, uh, have a great rest of your night until tomorrow. All right. Bye-bye for now.